Hey Alexa, what time is it? Didn't we do this bit already? Yeah, but I'm too lazy to come up with something new right now. Hey Alexa, what time is it? It's time for some video responses for your butt. For what? The question is for whom? Okay, for who? No, for whom? All right, grammar police, for whom? For Pepino Man, for Picker Jim S. And for Dustin and Blake. That's a lot of video responses. Stop complaining and get to work. Lazy. Yes, ma'am. I assume you're going to cram them into one video. Yep. Lazy. I don't see you making YouTube videos. I'm too busy doing important stuff like planning your demise. I knew it. You're boring me. Get on with the Hey Superstar thing. Yes, ma'am. Hey, superstars. You heard the lady. I'm combining three video responses in today's video for three awesome people. Well, four actually, but three awesome channels. So Jim, Caesar, Dustin, Blake, uh, you've all been so supportive of me and you're all great dudes. And I'm happy to throw a little love right back at you. So here goes. Everybody's entering Picker Jim S's 500 sub contest where he wants to see our favorite rookie cards. I want to say congrats to Jim. Not only is your channel awesome, but the responses to this contest have been awesome. I say awesome too much. I'm going to cheat, though, and show off my top 10. But first, I'm going to cheat some more and show off some honorable mentions. First honorable mention goes to the 91 Bowman Kenny Lofton. This card and Kenny are way overlooked. And then we've got 92 Bowman Manny Ramirez. I love this foil. This card screams early 90s, and it's very, very cool. Coming in at number 10, the 1956 Herb Score. Herb was going to be a superstar, but his career was hampered by a line drive to the face from which he never really recovered. 1956 was such a cool design, too. Number 9, Julio. I love 83 Tops. I loved Julio. I still do. He was the very first player that I met in person. Number 8, Omar. One of those cards I buy every time I see it. I love this card. 89 Tops is another one of my favorite designs. Number seven, Francisco Lindor. You know, I'm not that big into modern cards, but Frankie's been so fun to watch play. This card can be a little pricey, so I'm happy to have this raw one. Number six, Al Rosen. Al is probably my favorite Indian. He's another guy with some great seasons, but a short career. I love the 50s Bowman cards too, but I'll admit this one is just a touch boring. Number five, Rocky Calavito. This is one of those cards I was patient in tracking down and found one I really, really liked. This one is just gorgeous. Number four, Joe Carter. One of my most prized possessions growing up. I was an Indians fan and a Cubs fan as a kid. And Carter's time with the Indians was right when I started getting into baseball. So this one hit all the buttons for me. Number three, Ryan Sandberg. Speaking of my childhood prize possessions, this is my 83 Rhino that was the pinnacle of my collection. He was my idol for a while, and this plaque had its rightful place right above my bed. Number two, Jim Tomey. Another card I buy every time I find one. Jimmy could match with the best of them and played the game the right way. I love Jimmy, and I love this card, obviously. Number one, and finally, my favorite rookie card, the greatest player ever to don an Indian's uniform, the man, the myth, the legend, Alvaro Espinoza. Enough said. The one and only Pepino Man is celebrating 2,000 subs and wants to see our lowest pop card and our highest pop card. This is not something that I normally pay much attention to, but it was really interesting to look up. Plus, I really needed to update my PSA inventory. My lowest pop is this 1933 Worldwide Gum Willy Com. It has a pop of one with only nine higher. You can see there it's a French 1.5. There might be a little paper loss on the edge right there, but it's really hard to tell. And the back has some wax staining. See, it's French. It's a beautiful card though. When I bought it, I thought I was buying a Gaudi, but Worldwide Gum is actually like the OPG of the 1930s. I paid 11 bucks for this bad boy and I'm happy to have it. And my highest pop card is this 89 score traded Don't Call Me Joey Bell. The pop is 6,751, and I think I own 6,000 of them, or maybe 10 of them, but who's counting? I paid a buck a piece for them, so if you know any Albert Bell fans, let me know. Congrats, Pepino Man. 
And finally, my buddies Dustin Theodore Logan and Blake S. Preston Esquires are two righteous dudes celebrating 750 subs, and they wanted to see stupid human tricks. So to celebrate with them, I'm gonna draw Kirby Puckett with my mouth. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Don't worry, I'm not going to quit my day job. Uh, congrats again to Jim, Caesar, Dustin, and Blake. Again, you guys are all rad. Um, these video responses always seem weird to me to do, but um, they push me to do. Um, they push me to make some different videos and expand my horizons, and I really am happy to do them and support you guys. And yeah, I think that's it. If you're not subscribed to Picker Jim S, Pepino Man, or Dustin and Blake, I don't know what's wrong with you. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see you superstars on Friday.